Hey everyone, Jason here, Aspiring Entrepreneur, and in this quick video tutorial, we're gonna be going over how to make a ebook in Canva in less than 10 minutes. And what's really cool is Canva is this web-based design tool for people like you and me who aren't graphically inclined. And what's really nice about Canva, unlike using something like just a plain old Word doc or even PowerPoint to put your ebooks together, is that there's a lot you can do in terms of graphic design without having to have a big background in graphic design. And this is really important because when someone opens up your ebook, most of the time they're going to be viewing it on their phone, they're going to be viewing it on their tablet or their laptop, and the design of your ebook can arguably be just as important as the information. So before we dive in here, and I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do this, there's two caveats to this tutorial. Number one, the free version of Canva only allows you to have 30 pages in one set. So if your ebook is more than 30 pages for some reason, you're going to have to go to a website like smallpdf.com to put all of that together. So you'd make multiple Canva files, you'd export them as PDFs, and then you'd use a third-party tool to slap them all together into one ebook. Number two, if you're doing Kindle ebooks, this is not for you all. So for the rest of us making ebooks, and these are probably like a free offer or something you're offering as part of your you know, digital course, this is definitely for you. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the first step is deciding what dimensions or size. There are a lot of different dimensions you can choose, but the two we're working with, we're either choosing presentation, the 16 by nine, which shows up great on desktop, or we're gonna be choosing using eight and a half by 11, which shows up great on mobile. So I'm gonna be doing mobile here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on magazine cover. So once you've clicked on magazine, you're gonna have a nice blank page like this. And the reason why I recommend choosing the magazine layout is because of the layout templates that you have here on the left. What's really nice is when you choose the magazine layout, you get a bunch of different cover ideas and you also get really, really nice internal layouts as well. Now, a lot of these are free, some of them are paid, and if you come across any that are paid, I think I clicked on a paid one, yes. So in this particular instance, you can see here that some of these have Canva written over them. So all you have to do is replace all of these images with your own images, and you can go to something like unsplash.com or pixabay.com to get free images. And once you swap those out, you'll be able to use these formats. But what we're talking about right now is covers. So what's really nice here is because you don't have to be necessarily graphically inclined you can just scroll down here and look at different covers that you could use and these are all you can modify them and I like I really like the magazine format that's just me personally now if you choose the presentation route you have the same ability you can see here this is my cover for a particular ebook that's inside one of my courses and you can see here on the left hand side they have a bunch of different templates that you can start with so that's really the power of Canva is these templates you don't have to start from scratch so you're going to start with a blank canvas, but I recommend going straight over here for your cover to choose a couple and then start playing with them. And so you can see here, this is one cover that I have. This is another cover that I put together. Super, super basic. And I'll go through how I did that right now. So I'm going to go back to the US letter. Like, let's say this is this is the one I, I like. I like the lighthouse. Maybe I don't like the lighthouse. Maybe I want to maybe I want to switch it out for something. I'm doing a ebook on content marketing and I have my own graphics or I have something that's more relevant. So what what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag. And what's really cool, you click and drag and you replace the image right there. So replace the image. So now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change the title of the book, Content Machine. And of course, it's way too big. So I'll just come up here and change the text size. Let's take it down to 64. Eh, that's a little small, but that's okay. You can mess around with it. And then we'll say the five step process for awesome content. Awesome, awesome. If you spell awesome right, uh, <laughs> awesome content, content. All right, there we go. Perfect. And then all you have to do come down here is start. Maybe maybe this text doesn't really work all that well. Delete. All right. And maybe I'll say, um, maybe I'll say here, five steps. If I can click on the other one, come on. Sometimes you have to click out and then click to get the right five. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Command all five steps. All right, cool. And there's the cover. Content machine, five-step process for awesome content. 
five steps. And next we have table of contents. So there, I'm gonna breeze through this one in particular because there's there's two different ways you can do this. Number one, there are a couple of really nice templates. This came from the Elite Runner template and then this one came from, I'm gonna scroll all the way back up, from the title template here. And so these are just two examples of what your table and contents can look like, or if you just wanna be really simple and make it really easy and you're like, Jason, I don't wanna go find all these images. I don't wanna put this much work into my ebook. So we can go over to this one, uh, just broke the preview. And in this particular ebook, I have the introduction and then I just list out the five steps. That's my table of contents. And then I start talking about the steps. And you can see this particular ebook, there's a lot less design effort that went into it. This is just a presentation straight. So if you really, really just wanna breeze through this, this, this template and this style will be much, much better for you. So that's all really there is to table of contents. Breezing through that. So now comes the actual fun part, the designing of your ebook. So I'm gonna show you how I design this particular template. You feel free to straight up just copy this one if you like it or use it as a inspiration for what you're going to do. So we're gonna start off with shapes. And I'm gonna come down here because I don't wanna waste your time of me trying to figure everything out. I'm gonna blow this up just a little bit to 100%. And really what I recommend doing is finding some sort of standard for your page. So here, my standard is having this small bar at the bottom with my logo and a box. So how did I make this? I first started with a box. I'm gonna zoom down a little bit so I can quickly show you how I did, oh man, come on. And sometimes Canva puts the stuff. So if you ever click on something and you're like, where did it go? It went on the wrong page. Go ahead and click on an element and then click what you want and it will show up in the right place. So all I did was I turned this guy into a very long rectangle at the bottom. And of course you can do this on the side. I'll show you how you can do this on the side as well. I slapped that down there and I wanted to differentiate between the colors. So this is the other thing too. If you have a couple company colors and you wanna kind of differentiate the shades, all you have to do is come up here to transparency and then start playing with this little bar here. And all of a sudden I have two, I'm using one color cause I don't wanna be super creative, but I have two different shades of that color. And the logo is something that I created outside of Canva and I just dropped it in here and there you go. So maybe I wanna take the logo and put it in the center. Maybe that's how I want to do it. But you want to essentially make a frame for your content moving forward, right? And you don't want to get too um, too graphically intense because you want plenty of room to put in your content and your graphics and additional images. Whoa. So I'm going to switch over to this guy. So what I did here is all I did was I made a little box for the title and then the rest of this is text. Right, so this is something that, this is actually where I started because I'm trying to get my product out as quickly as possible. I don't wanna spend a bunch of time. So all it is, is a little, I like using boxes because it looks nicer than just having, oh, well, it's white, but it looks nicer than just having a bunch of text on the page, right? So you put a little box up here, you see, I just put my logo on the bottom and then I chose a graphic and that graphic is on each one of these pages. So you can see how we can delete all of this content, bye-bye, we can drop in whatever content we want. This is the template. So that's, this is, as once you get your template, you know, you have a place, have a place for your title, have a place for your logo. If you wanna do page numbers, you can. I normally don't bother because I wind up having to change the page numbers so many times. And that's all you need to do for your template. And so now we'll scroll down here. And so this is a basic example of what this might look like. If you're running through this, you wanna get this done in five minutes instead of 10 minutes, there you go. And I just copied and pasted this from my content. Now for the fun part. And the fun part is the overall design of your pages. So it looks like a lot's going on here, but all it is, is this. This is the template, right? This is the template. So, you know, in this particular one, our template was the title up here, a little graphic, and the logo, the template here, which seriously, feel free to, to copy this, this style, is there's a bar at the bottom, a box at the bottom, and then some rectangles on the left-hand side to segment the content. And you know what? If I want a different graphic or image right here, they have a bunch of illustrations and icons. So you can come into icons. And I really like using the icons because it's just a nice little, little touch you could do. Like maybe this is about ideas. So we'll drop, oh, 
See, it went someplace else, so I'm clicking, clicking on an element on the screen, then I'm clicking to drop this in. I'm gonna change it to white, and then bring it down to the correct size, do, 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 and drop that, I'm gonna delete that one, and drop this in here, and now I have a nice little icon and I can drop in all of my content as you can see what I did here. And that's that's all there is to it. I know it can seem like a daunting task and it can seem like you wanna get every little every little thing right, but it's really not necessary when it comes to putting together your ebook. What's most important is you get your ebook done, you get it out, you can always go back and refine, you can always go back and change it. So thank you so much for watching. If you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because I have a bunch of other Canva tutorials in the description and YouTube playlists on my channel where I'm documenting the entire process of not only building an online business from scratch, but doing design tutorials like this one one so you can put together great looking graphics and ebooks and landing pages and sales pages for your business. So if you are a fellow entrepreneur, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, keep building the business you love. Take care.